What up, what up, what up, what up? It's me, L Teddy 27. It's good as night, dude. Right about the hood. Oh, dear God. I'm already eating the drink. Look at the damn mess. Just a damn mess. Please oh, no. And yes, me, no. What up, 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 what's good, people? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's me, L Teddy 27, and I am back. Oh, yes, back in the saddle for yet another review. This, ladies and gentlemen, will be our review for. Valley. This is season two. It is episode two. It is entitled Seven Pounds of Pressure. Now listen, y'all. Listen. Give me something to lubricate. Because it's at a certain point, I'm going to have to go off on um, Katori Hall and all of the people down to the stars. Love y'all down. Great episode. But there was a part of this episode that, oh God, I just, mm, mm. All right, y'all. Let's get right on down. Down to the valley where the girls get naked. Listen. Um, so we start off, they have an auditions down there to the paint. Big L flirting with everybody while he um coming in. And um from all of all, they had a whole bunch of people auditioned. I mean the, the girls, the boys, and everything in between, non-binary, non-gender conforming. Maybe everybody was down there trying to audition. Child, I ain't mad at it, honey. Get it how you live, honey. But um they only had like three slots or whatever. So, or two slots or however many slots. So, the two standouts was two girls. One was named Whisper. One was named Roulette. And so, Haley tried to hire um, tried to um, hire some other chick named um, Big Bone. And they was like, and Mercedes was like, mm -mm, she can't even dance. I mean, she thick and all. She got a body. But the bitch can't dance. And if you going to strip... Bitch, you need to be able to dance. That hoe couldn't even make it up the goddamn pole. I'm just saying. So Haley was like, well, I could use her behind the bar. So she went behind the bar. Child. See, that's the thing. A lot of people think that stripping is just twerking, and that's it. Grab the pole and twerk. Uh-uh, baby. It's a whole art form. It's a whole sport um, that goes along with stripping. It's more than I can do, honey. Because, mm, child. Anyway, I mean, I have been known to do some things with some poles. Not the stripper pole. Y'all can do that math later on. Anyway, um, Corbin and Andre come by because they got a, um, they ready to offer Haley and Uncle Clifford something for the paint. Meanwhile, back at Mississippi House, her and the white boy, uh, Massa, is, um, Talking to the sheriff, because he's trying to get the sheriff to bring Diamond up on charges because he don't like that, you know, the fact that Diamond was putting the ones and twos on him. And, uh, you know, giving him two to the head, three to the body. And he's trying to, you know, do the white people shit. You know, like the people descended from the Caucasus Mountains do. They do the wrong shit. They do the wrong thing. They end up getting their ass whooped. Now they want to go call the police and get our ass thrown in jail. Just a goddamn mess. Anyway, so the sheriff is like, listen, ain't nothing I can do. If I arrest him, I got to arrest you too. Baby, get over it. Get over it. So while uh, Massa went inside to go check on the baby, um, the sheriff just started talking to uh, Mississippi about what she's doing now. Is she going to start working back at the place? She was like, nah, you know, I'm doing my little thing thing on the internet or whatever. I forgot to tell y'all, before Mississippi went out there, when she was going out there to go take them a glass of um, lemonade, she looked at um, Massa's phone and found out that he ain't get the job down to the manager's, um, he ain't get the manager's job. So, I don't remember if she deleted it, because she read it, and I don't remember if she just read it and kept going. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Oh, I don't remember if she read it or kept going, and kept going, or if she deleted it, but I know she read it, after she read it. Anyway, so, um, back down to the paint. Mercedes Whisper and the roulette chick, um, they, you know, working a pole, practicing or whatever, um, now that the two, um, uh, Whisper and Roulette done got, um, hired, so they, you know, they practicing and stuff like that, and, you know, getting acquainted with how they gonna work all of this out, and stuff like that, so we still got, um, Mercedes favoring his shoulder, y'all, she's still favoring his shoulder, now I already... I had already gave y'all uh, what I, I had already predicted, my prediction on what was going to happen. We see it did, but we'll get there. Um, the other girls start insinuating 
that um she's old um because roulette i like roulette mercedes is okay but roulette is my hoe that is my girl she's ghetto she ghetto fish okay she's ghetto fish fatty i live for roulette that's my hoe she popping gum all every time you see her she got her gum popping and everything i live for roulette is my hoe that's the one who i like now people gonna probably like whisper my hoe is roulette that's my hoe anyway so roulette disrespectful ass was like you need me to go um and get you some of that green alcohol so you can rub on there trying to insinuate that she old like the old people a mess in the office corbin and andre is offering um haley 500k for the paint and haley and uncle clifford is like mm -mm, hell nah bitch mm -mm, we ain't going for it mm -mm, it's worth way more than that now if you can give us a good 10 mil then we might have a conversation well 500k I ain't gonna get it done. I ain't, I ain't mad at it. I'm here for it. So then, after they leave, after Corbin and um, Andre leave, Corbin is white boy. Um, one of the the cow brothers. That's the black. That's half black, half white. He's the black cow brother. Okay, that's who he is. If you remember, he the one with the little meat. If you remember last season when he was in the um, paradise room and we saw his little itty bitty meat. Him, the one who the um, cow father, the cow brother's fathers had with the maid. So. They bring in the flyers for the re re reopening, and it happens to be tomorrow, the next day, which happens to be Uncle Clifford's birthday. So, and Haley didn't know. So, Uncle Clifford is tripping like, "Really, bitch, you gonna do this on my birthday?" Mercedes comes in like, "Really, bitch, you doing this on Uncle Clifford's birthday? You raggedy ass piece of shit whore!" And Uncle Clifford is like, "Listen, we're not ready. We ain't got no DJ yet." We still got to, you know, fix this place up. We ain't got security like we need. It, it's not ready yet. And Haley is all about making money. Bitch, we need to make money. We ain't got time to be waiting. So, Uncle Clifford was like, bitch, you think you run this shit? Bitch, you think you got it all figured out and put together? Fine, bitch. Do it on your own. My black ass ain't gonna be there. Fuck you and fuck your life. I was here for it, Uncle Clifford. That whole thing she could run it, gone on. Then we pan over to Mercedes' raggedy, stankin' ass mammy round here who's um, acting like a pastor and she's over there shaking it up in front of the church talking about where the blessings reside where the blessings reside did anybody find it weird and just off-putting that she's putting hand sanitizer on her hands but bitch you got gloves on your hands how are you putting hand sanitizer on your hands with gloves on make this shit make sense i can't stand that bitch anyway then we go back to uncle Clifford's house he's in the room crying and commiserating and sulking over the fact that he ain't had no jig from um a little murder in a long time and he's over there he's about to turn 40 and he ain't getting none little murder comes um comes over and while um uncle clifford is in the room and grandma ernestine come out and talk to him at the door so uncle clifford comes my phone always being disrespectful y'all heard that it's just my phone being disrespectful anyway Uncle Clifford comes out and he uh, he kind of hides behind the door thinking that Little Murder can't see him. Mind you, there's a mirror right in the back, right in the back of the um, room where Uncle Clifford could clearly see, I mean, where Little Murder could clearly see Uncle Clifford hiding behind the door. So Little Murder, with his, I mean, he was a fine and delectable child. Now, y'all know my baby daddy, my boo, is Andre, but that Little Murder, I can't lie, he be looking fine. Falling for it. Ooh, anyway. Um sorry I got distracted. So he come over there and tell, uh, tell Grandma Ernestine that listen, I just am here to talk to Clifford, tell him I handled everything wrong. I just want to apologize and tell him that, you know, I I shouldn't have handled that way. I just wanted to let him know that before I go on this um tour that I'm about to go on or whatnot. And Uncle Clifford's still hiding behind the thing, thinking he can't that uh, Lil Murder can't hear him. So right before Lil Murder leave, he tap on the door to let him know, yeah, bitch, I know you back there. Over there, pussy getting wet. Over there, just drenched. Pussy just like a waterfall. All oh, wet and bothered. I know it was Uncle Cliff, but I ain't mad at it because I was kind of wet too. Anyway. anyway, Andre goes uh, goes back to Mayor Ruffin's house because, you know, he's been staying there um, since he been in Mississippi. His wife called him, bitch, when are you coming home? Hey, boo, they made me executor of the estate, of his estate. I can't leave until they do the will, um, reading of the will. Now, how long this going to take for them to do the reading of the will? Girl, they don't take that many weeks, but we'll see, honey. We know what you're doing. Anyway, 
Um, so he goes and he sees, baby, they done got um, 39 different water holes and water hose extensions plugged into the water spigot that's attached to Mayor Ruffin's house. And he looking like, I know the fuck you lying. These bitches ain't believably stealing my water. Baby, they show is. Baby, it's going all the way down the block. Going from house to house. I told you it was 39 water um, hoses with the little extensions to split it up. Girl. But my question is, when you got that many extensions on the water hose, how much pressure are you really getting out of that water hose? I'm just saying. Anyway. um, So they get he gets down there to the dude. He was like, bitch. Because he almost got shot because he didn't recognize him at first. Anyway, he was like, well... Mayor Ruffin always took care of us when we was late. If we was, you know, a couple months late on, five months late, the other dude was like, well, five years late on the water bill. He would always help us out, and he would always let us use his water. So ain't shit changed now that he did. Get over it. I was like, oh, well. And so he went back in there to go check the bills, and child Mayor Ruffin had been paying like 10 k a month on water bills. Now, I understand, even with the 39 you know, different water hoses and the 39 extension. 10K a month for a water bill is a lot. Water bill, even like three months worth of water for the water bill is real cheap. Even if you was paying for all of those houses on the block, that still should have cost you no $10,000. I might even go with $1,000, but not no $10,000. I'm just saying. Anyway, he was um, doing, um, Andre said he was doing his old Robin Hood thing, robbing from the rich to give back to the poor. I ain't mad at it, honey. He probably was using the money he was getting down from the, um, being the mayor. But back at Mississippi House, White Boy done went through and figured out where she was. Now, White Boy has kept iterating and reiterating to her, bitch, I always know where you at. Bitch, I have a location set on your phone. You can't go nowhere without me knowing. And so that's going to come back into play at some point, I know, this season. Because he said that more than once. He reminded her, yeah, bitch, I know you went down there to the dollar store to go see Diamond. Bitch, what you doing down there seeing Diamond? You tried to lie to me and hide these little pampers like I ain't, like I wasn't going to find out. Bitch, what the fuck you got going on? He started yelling and barking and all kinds of shit. I thought he was about to whoop her ass. You know she still kind of got bruises and shit. So you know he be whooping her ass. I thought he was about to show us that. And then I was going to be throwing something at the TV screen. But that ain't happening. But he was still yelling and shit. He was, he was all kinds of mad. So she was like, yeah, he was at the store, and he yelled at me, and he was like, oh, he yelled at you? Oh, no, the fuck he didn't. And so he goes, and he calls the store and says, y'all need to fire this motherfucker, because he can't be yelling at my girlfriend, dot, 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 X, Y, Z, A, B, and C. And um, she asked him, after he got off the phone with the people from the uh, store, she asked him, when he said that you call him a, a, a ghetto nigger, hard ER, because I don't believe nobody would say that. He denied it. He said Diamond was lying and said, oh, yeah, they'll make up anything to, um, just a liar. Just a liar. Anyway, she tells him about the tour um, and so forth that she's um, that she got invited to go on with um, La Murder and said, you know, her manager, Rome, had told her about it and told her it might be a good thing. And he was not here for it. He was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. After a little coaxing, she gets him to at least listen to Rome and see what he got to say, see what he offering. Cause she started talking about what about us getting the house like we wanted to and the jacuzzis and backyard for the babies and we could fuck in the jacuzzi child. Every time I think about her and the white boy fucking, it's just mmm. 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 Oh, I had to swallow that back down, honey. I had to swallow that back down. Mmm. Ooh. I think I was gonna I didn't think I was going to make it, honey. Anyway, so we get on this, um, I want to say tour bus, but it wasn't a tour bus. It was a tour hearse. You heard me. A tour hearse. Oh, yes. The same hearse that they put bodies in. It was that. A mess. I will say, shots out to who's ever doing casting down to the goddamn P-Valley. Because the men says, dear God. Trey be giving me life, honey. The boys be get child. The guy who's the manager for um, Little Murder, who owns the, the um, funeral home. Ooh, he's a fine piece of something. And then he got the deep voice, too. <clears throat> anyway, he's driving a tour hearse. Little Murder calls DJ Never Scared, the cute little boy. Told you they'd be all cute. DJ Never Scared said, baby, I can't go on no tour, tour with y'all. I'm over here in Atlanta 
over here producing some music and stuff for real artists, I ain't got time for what you got going on. I got real artists. Some female rapper or whatever. I guess we were supposed to know who it was. Was it supposed to be like Meg the Stallion or what's the, it's some other new chick I heard. I think her name Eric or something. I don't know. But somebody, we, I guess we were supposed to know who she was. Anyway, so they go to the um, prison to go and pick up one of their boys. His name Vic Teak or whatever. I thought he was going to be cuter, but then when they showed the whole body and he was kind of big, I was like, mm, mm, I didn't want him to be fat like that. I mean, if you had been in prison this whole time, bitch, you're supposed to come out with the prison body. He's like, pow, 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 pow. But he wasn't, so I stopped paying him any attention. Anyway... So back down to Mississippi House, Rome go over the, oh, goes over there. He starts talking to um, them about what he's going to get for her and these sweets and her rider and everything else. And so Mercedes starts shutting the shit down like, but wait a minute. I'm supposed to get part of the dough. Ain't this going to take away from the door? Ain't that going to take away from the door? Ain't everything I'm getting being funded by? Nah, man, that ain't going to work out. That money ain't looking right. So he gets back. He goes out the house and gets back in the two of hers. Hot, mad, broke down, busted, and disgusted. Snorting his cocaine and stuff. These fools in the goddamn tour hers, Lil Murder, Big T, and the manager dude, whose name I can't remember, but with the deep voice and fine as fuck, uh, ended up playing goddamn killer. Bitch, I ain't played killer since I was like eight or nine years old. And the other part was, Rome ain't even know what killer was. How many people out there don't know what killer is? Everybody done played killer as a child. Everybody done played killer. Well, you got to figure out who the killer is. Come on now. Come on now. You ain't never played Killer. It was a fun game back in the day. I'm just saying. It was a fun game. But I ain't played this since I was like eight or nine years old. Girl, this motherfucker in here. Big T in there dying. Like he's having a whole ass cardiac. Uh, <laughs> like he's going into cardiac arrest and having a whole cardiac episode. Just a mess. Anyway. Um, so he's all mad because he was like, wait a minute. She made me feel like it was going. All I had to do was go in there and convince her. Her um, massa, her boyfriend, white boy, and she done flipped the script on me. And, and, you know, acting like I ain't giving her a good enough deal or a good enough cut. So, right before they leave, she texts him and she says, I'll take care of the rest. Um, <laughs> she says, I'll take care of the rest, meaning I just had to put on for white boy massa. I'll take care of the rest. You did your job. Appreciate you. Thank you, doll. Thank you, boo. Down to the paint. They done had there in the middle of the re re reopening. Big L on the ones and twos. God help us. Um, the girls out there performing, um, get ready to perform. You know, the men are there, you know, Whisper in the back with the girls. So apparently Whisper is into the dark magic and stuff like that. And she uses like pendulums and stuff like that to tell, you know, to answer questions and stuff like that. And she can read, you know, which way the pendulum is shifting and stuff like that. That's our whole thing. You know, this is um, New Orleans where the people are into, you know, the dark magic and whatnot. So she doing that for the girls. Mercedes, come, come break it up, break it up. Girl, it's time. Break it up, honey. Um, back down to Uncle Clifford's house. He in bed, broke down, busted, and disgusted because it's his 40th birthday. And he ain't down at the paint for the re-re, reopening. He ain't doing shit. His grandma yelled at him, Grandma Ernestine, baby, you need to go out here and take this off. Now, we later find out Miss Ernestine had done set all this up. He goes to take out the uh, recycling. When he gets out there, he don't get he gets kidnapped by kidnappers. Now I know Miss Ernestine. When I was watching it at first, I said I know Miss Ernestine. Here all this going on, baby. She is sitting there not being bothered, watching her TV, laughing while Uncle Clifford is clearly getting kidnapped. <coughs> and I know she can hear it. So um, he gets kidnapped, and they lock him in the trunk or whatnot. Put tape over his mouth. Back down to the paint. Um, shit is falling apart. You got Big Bone, who's supposed to be bartender, dancing on the bar. And Toy done came in there and said, girl, you need to go. Haley, you need to go and get her because she ain't supposed to be doing that. She took money away from us. You got a fucking fire going on in one room. Big L ain't even DJing no more. He trying to put out the fucking fire. You got one model, uh, one stripper toy arguing with her baby daddy about the fact that she said Whisper told her based on the pendulum he ain't the baby daddy and she don't need to get no goddamn paternity test. He about to whoop her ass and go off on her. All of says, I'll get security. Uncle Clifford don't have this. He said, Uncle Clifford ain't here and you ain't him. Fuck security. While the cat is out, the mice will play. Uncle Clifford ain't here. Ain't no diamond here. Fuck you and security. Shout Back down with Uncle Clifford. Uh, clearly. 
Haley can't keep the club together. Get it together, huh? Oh, get it together, whore. Anyway, now the kidnappers end up being Uncle Clifford's friends. And they kidnap him and they done had this they got this big elaborate skate birthday party for him. And so forth. Shout out to Relly B, who was um there or whatnot. She was one of the little nieces or whatever. I was I was like, because I was like, y'all just gonna use this man saying where the um, money resides and change it to where the blessings reside. But then when I found out that Relly B was on the episode, I was in for it. I said, Oh, shout out to Relly B. Go ahead and get your coins, sis. Get your coins, sis. Get it, um, niece. Get your coins, niece. Make your money. Sha, I ain't really cover his hair, but he had on some sickening shades and some sickening nails. Mama outfit was um okay too. But that hair, honey, I ain't really care for it. But get your money, sis. Uncle Clifford can't even enjoy his birthday party because he's over here daydreaming. Um daydreaming. And whenever I say daydreaming, I think of that old Tatiana Ali song. All day long, I think of you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Remember that old song about Tatiana Ali? Daydreaming of you. Daydreaming of you. Y'all gotta go back. This is like late 90s. Tatiana Ali, maybe early 2000s. Go back and look up the songs. It was cute. It was cute little bop. Anyway, but he daydreaming about Uncle um, Lil Murder or whatever Uncle Clifford is. <coughs> back down to the paint. Mercedes Whisper and Roulette is practicing for their, um, you know, their little set they finna do. While they practicing, one of the little practice poles hanging from the ceiling starts to move back and forth like a pendulum. So Whisper going on over there. And Roulette is like, well, what is it saying? Whisper like asking the question. Who that say? Am I gonna get broke off? Am I gonna get paid tonight? Whisper like it say yes. Baby, when they got ready for uh, Mercedes, here come Haley bitch ass breaking it up, breaking it up. I need y'all out here because this shit is getting towed out. Mm -hmm. Cause you can't handle it. So, but before they walked out, Whisper she must have got a premonition or something from that pendulum because she gave a real interesting look to Mercedes before they went out there, honey, baby. Um, we get back to Uncle Clifford's party. Now, people down there to the stars, Katori Hall, Patrick Ian Polk, and all of y'all people that's involved with this show. Now, last week, I told y'all I needed some meat. I needed some pain. This ain't what the fuck we was talking about. It's a whole lot of things. It's, you know why I'm just doing this video today? Because I watched the episode yesterday morning. But it took all day yesterday and this morning for my eyes to regain sight. Because my retinas were scorched. Why? Because at the party, Uncle Clifford goes to get some skates from Cute Trade that was over there looking all nice and good and delectable. Cute Trade whips out his meat, which they ain't even show us, and say happy birthday. They go to the back. For the bus down, and what happens? Uncle Clifford ends up unzipping, whipping out his meat, and now they want to show us that. I'm not trying to see that shit. And Trey goes down on Uncle Clifford. Girl, I could have stabbed myself in the eyeballs and poured cayenne pepper in it. Girl, I never want to see that again. Fuck you, stars, for showing that, us that shit. When I say I want to see meat, it ain't Uncle Clifford. Please be clear. <sighs> Back down to the pink. Lord. At this point, I was just listening because I couldn't see them all. I was like Miss Ernestine, just blinded for a whole goddamn 24 hours, dear God. But, uh, uh, Mercedes Whisper and Roulette go out there to do their set. And so they doing their thing, doing their thing, making the money, making the money, making the money. Mer uh, Roulette and Whisper go out there to do their um, little, you know, out there doing their thing on the pole. Way up there doing acrobatics and cartwheels and spins and dips and shit on the pole. Mercedes get jealous. Like, uh-uh, I'm going to show these hoes. I'm the number one stunner. Baby mama went up there and did, I told y'all. What did I tell y'all last week? I said, mama going to end up doing the tip drill. What did she do? She did the tip drill. Mama ended up doing her reenactment of tip drill. Falling all the way down. Next thing we know, she wake up. She at Diamond House. They said the um, hospital was at capacity. They couldn't take no more people. So she had to go. They had to do something. So they take her down to Diamond House. Diamond over here doing some dark magic, some kind of dark magic, snapping fingers, you know, putting his hands all over her body. She convulsing and all, because he said, oh, it's just um, a little dislocated, ain't broken or not like that. She convulsing and all kinds of shit and, you know, snapping at the fingers and spirit. I was like, what the fuck is going on? But y'all know this New Orleans, uh, y'all, I mean, Mississippi, Louise, not this, not New Orleans, this, 
that Mississippi Delta area where they do all that kind of stuff. Baby, so uh, he done pulled seven um, pounds or something out of her that was invisible that we couldn't see. Seven pounds of pressure or something out of her and went and it's nothing in his hand. Go put it on the little scale and it goes down to seven pounds. And so after that, they was like, all three of them, Uncle, cause Uncle Clifford came, Uncle Clifford, Haley, and um, Mercedes was like, that's real specific. He was like, well, all I know is it takes seven pounds of pressure to pull the trigger of a gun. Now we're going back to murder night. Did she have to shoot the, the man Montavious or whatever? She immediately started blaming um, Haley. She, she said, it's all your fault. We're going to get caught. We're going to get caught. Haley gets mad because Diamond is holding the ring from Montavious. Diamond was like, listen, I ain't get ready. She was like, we don't need no evidence. Diamond was like, listen, I need this to keep you and me safe, Haley. Because, bitch, y'all ain't handled this shit right. Last time I checked, it was me and Big Gail that got rid of the body. We was the last one who had our fingerprints and shit on him. Not you. Bitch, I don't know what the fuck you worried about. Anyway, they go outside. Haley asks Diamond to come back and work down to the paint. Mercedes look at Haley, bitch, you got to get the fuck out of my house. Because all kinds of bad shit don't happen since you rolled your ass in my house. Get the fuck out of my house. But I ain't got nowhere to stay. I need some time. Maybe tomorrow. No, bitch, you got to get out tonight. Get your shit and get the fuck out. I was like, oh. Child. Back down to the Mississippi house. Y'all just, it just went from bad to worse. We went from see Uncle Clifford Peen. Now we got to see white boy. Um, <clears throat> Massa and Mercedes fucking. And I told y'all, I don't want no parts of seeing white boy. I, it's just... So Mercedes done, you know, putting a clank on his peen with her cooch. And she done got him, uh, she done fucked him into submission and got him to let her go on the tour. On the tour. Back down to the pain. Haley ain't got nowhere to stay, so now she got to stay down to the pain. So she in there with her nightgown on or whatever. So she gets up and, um, I noticed on one of the, you know, they got the little cameras and the monitors in the office. So on the monitor in the Paradise Room, a uh, image of a man came up, which looked like the Montavious guy. Now I thought the Montavious was supposed to be the guy was supposed to be dead. Maybe his image show came up on that camera. Y'all let me know if y'all saw it, because I sure saw it. Did that mean that his spirit is coming back to get them whores? We'll see. Anyway, she go in there and start dancing on the pole, because she's a whore and whores can't give up. They're whoredom. She started dancing on the pole. Andre shows up. And they have a whole conversation. And basically, she told him, listen, y'all offer me the right money. I'll sell it to y'all. But if it ain't in the seven um, to eight figure range, we can't talk about nothing. And they start dancing on each other, damn near dry humping. You a whole ass married man, Andre. You still over here got this going on. Your wife out here on the front lines of the Coco, of Miss Coco, battling Miss Coco. Out here really putting in work. And you out here... Sleeping with some common gutter snipe, some whore down to the script club. A mess. Last thing we see, Mercedes leaves her house and goes on tour. Um, she gets in the tour tour hearse. <laughs> that shit sounds so weird. With Lil Murder, and now they're going out on tour, and it ends from there. It was a really good episode, y'all. It was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. They don't owe me nothing. So Let's see what's about to happen next week. Next, I, I'm, so I hope it keeps doing that because last week's episode was good. This week's episode was better. Hopefully next week. So I like when, you know, shows do that. You have this steady climb where each episode gets better and better and better until you get to the climax. So let's see how they're going to top this week. Because this was a really good episode this week. I ain't going to lie. It was really good. Y'all, let's get in the comment section. Y'all let me know what y'all saw. Let me know what y'all think is going to happen. I do have one prediction. I really feel like um, that um, Whisper Girl, we're going to see more of how she plays a part into this. I already know White Boy going to come looking for um for um, Mercedes, I mean not Mercedes, Mississippi. Because he said he don't trust a little murder. And um, that Montavious um, character is now back, so I don't know what's going to happen. I think that what's going to end up happening is maybe the Whisper Girl will come there and say, uh, uh I feel this spirit in here somebody's in here and then they're gonna have to use diamond who's going back to work down to the pink now to exorcise that demon out i think it's gonna be something like that but we'll see honey y'all come back and stars patrick ian pope katori hall and all y'all down there don't try to show me no oh,
opinions and get a like. That's all I got for y'all. Until next week, <laughs> thank y'all for coming. Y'all drop safely. Y'all out. <laughs>